HP UX's Hewlett Packard's proprietary implementation of the Unix operating system, based on Unix System V and first released in 1984. Recent versions support the HP 9000 series of computer systems, based on the PA RISC processor architecture, and HP Integrity systems, based on Intel's Itanium architecture. Earlier versions of HP UX supported the HP Integral PC and HP 9000 series 200, 300, and 400 computer systems based on the Motorola 68000 series of processors, as well as the HP 9000 series 500 computers based on HP's proprietary focus processor architecture. HP UX was the first Unix to offer access control lists for file access permissions as an alternative to the standard Unix permissions system. HP UX was also among the first Unix systems to include a built-in logical volume manager. HP has had a long partnership with Veritas Software, and uses VXFS as the primary file system. It is one of five commercial operating systems that have versions certified to the Open Group's Unix 03 standard. Characteristics, HP UX 11i offers a common root disk for its clustered file system. HP Service Guard is the cluster solution for HP UX. HP Global Workload Management adjusts workloads to optimize performance, and integrates with instant capacity on demand so installed resources can be paid for in 30-minute increments as needed for peak workload demands. HP UX offers operating system level virtualization features such as hardware partitions, isolated OS virtual partitions on cell based servers, and HP virtual machines on all integrity servers. HP VMs support guests running on HP UX 11 IV3 hosts. A Euro guests can run Linux, Windows, OpenVMS 8.4, or HP UX. HP supports online VM guest migration where encryption can secure the guest contents during migration. HP UX 11 IV3 scales as follows, 256 processor cores, 8 terabytes main memory, 32 terabytes maximum file system, 16 terabytes maximum file size, 100 million ZB storage. Security, the 11 IV2 release introduced kernel-based intrusion detection, strong random number generation, stack buffer overflow protection, security partitioning, role-based access management, and various open-source security tools. Security protection on HP UX can be divided into three categories, data, system and identity. Supported hardware platforms, HP UX operating system supports a variety of PA risk systems. The 11.0 added support for integrity-based servers for the transition from PA RISC to Itanium. HP UX 11 IV 1.5 is the first version that supported Itanium. On the introduction of HP UX 11 IV 2 the operating system supported both of these architectures. Equals BL series equals, HP UX 11 I supports HP integrity servers of HP BL server blade family. These servers use the Intel Itanium architecture. Equals CX series equals, HP UX 11 IV2 and 11 IV3 support HP's CX series servers. CX stands for Carrier Grade Server Series, and is used mainly for telco industry with minus 48 VDC support and is NEBS certified. Both of these systems contain Itanium 6 million Moroccan dirhams processors and are discontinued. Equals Rx series equals, HP UX supports HP's Rx series of servers. Release history, prior to the release of HP UX version 11.11, HP used a decimal version numbering scheme with the first number giving the major release and the number following the decimal showing the minor release. With 11.11, HP made a marketing decision to name their releases 11i followed by a B, decimal number, for the version. The I was intended to indicate the OS is Internet enabled, but the effective result was a dual version numbering scheme. Equals versions equals 1.0 support for the HP Integral PC. Basic kernel runs from ROM. Other commands are disk based. 2.0 first release for HP 9000 series 800. There may have been a different 2x version for the series 200 at an earlier date. 3x, 
HP 9000 Series 600-800 only. Note, 2x-3x were developed in parallel with 5x-6x, so, for example, 3x was really contemporary with 6x. The two lines were united at HP UX7X, so that Series 800 jumped from 3.1 to 7.0 and Series 300 from 6.5 to 7.01. 5.0, updated and renamed HP UX 1.0 for the HP Integral PC. Supported Series 200, 305 6X, support for HP 9000 Series 300 only. Introduced sockets from 4.3 Bahamian dollars. This version also introduced the context dependent files feature, a method of allowing a file server to serve different configurations and binaries to different client machines in a heterogeneous environment. A directory containing such files had its SWID bit set and was made hidden from both ordinary and root processes under normal use. Such a scheme was sometimes exploited by hackers to hide exploits. CDFs and the CDF file system were dropped with release 10.0.7x, support for HP 9000 series 300-400, 600-700-800 horsepower systems. Provided OSF motif. 8x, support for HP 9000 series 300-400-600-800 systems. Shared libraries introduced. 9x, 9.00, 9.02, 9.04, 9.01, 9.03, 9.05, 9.07, 9.08, 9.09, 9.09+, 9.10. .09. These provided support for the HP 9000 series 300, 700 and 800 systems. Introduced SAM. The logical volume manager was presented in 9.00 for the Series 800 as a replacement for the older methods of disk management. The easiest way to determine the platform that a version of HP UX 9X would run on was by the last digit. Even numbers ran on servers, odd numbers ran on workstations. 10.0, this major release saw a convergence of the operating system between the HP 9000 Series 700 and Series 800 systems. There was also a significant change in the layout in the system files and directories, based on the AT&T Unix System V release 4 standard. Applications were removed from slash /us and moved under slash /opt. Startup configuration files were placed under rc config d. Users were moved to slash /home from slash /users. Software for HP UX was now packaged, shipped, installed, and removed via the software distributor tools. LVM was also made available for Series 710.0 was followed by 10.01, 10 10.02, 10.03, 10.08, 10.09, 10.10 and 10.16. 10.20, this release included support for PA RISC 2.0 processors that support 64-bit data registers. Pluggable authentication modules were introduced for use with NCDE. The root file system could be configured to use the Veritas file system. For legacy as well as technical reasons, the file system used for the boot kernel remained high performance file system until version 11.23. 10.20 also supported 32 bit user and group identifiers. The prior limit was 60,000, or 16 bit. This and earlier releases of HP UX are now effectively obsolete and support by HP ended on June 30, 2003. 10.24, this is a virtual vault release of HP UX, providing enhanced security features. Virtual vault is a compartmentalized operating system in which each file is assigned a compartment and processes only have access to files in the appropriate compartment and unlike most other Unix systems the super user does not have complete access to the system without following correct procedures. 10.30, this was primarily a developer release with various incremental enhancements. The use of PAM continued to expand in the system security components. Various changes to system calls were also made. 
This OS also provided the first support for kernel threads, with a 1-1 thread model. 10.30 was also the first release of HPUX that was fully year 2000 compliant. 11.00, the first HPUX release to also support 64-bit addressing. Previous releases had been 32-bit only. It could still run 32-bit applications on a 64-bit system. This release was also deemed Y2K compliant. It supported 1-1 kernel threads, symmetric multiprocessing, fiber channel, and NFSPv3. It also included tools and documentation to convert 32-bit code to 64-bit. 11.04, Virtual Vault release. 11.10, this was a limited release to support the HP 9000 V2500 SCA and V2600 SCA servers. Other versions supported the HP 9000 V class servers in a single cabinet configuration, 11.10 ran on the SCA versions where two servers are stacked on top of each other, interconnected by a hyperplane crossbar. 11.10 also added JFS 3.3, 128 CPU support, AutoFS, and a new FTPD. It was not available separately. 11.11, also known as 11i, this release of HPUX introduced the concept of operating environments. It was released in December 2000. These are bundled groups of layered applications intended for use with a general category of usage. The available types were the mission critical, enterprise, Internet, technical computing, and minimal technical OEs. The main enhancements with this release were support for hard partitions, gigabit Ethernet, NFS over TCP IP, loadable kernel modules, dynamic kernel tunable parameters, kernel event notifications, and protected stacks. 11.20, also known as 11iv1.5, this release of HPUX was the first to support the new line of Itanium based systems. It was not intended for mission critical computing environments and did not support HP's Service Guard cluster software. It did provide support for running PA RISC compiled applications on Itanium systems, and for Veritas Volume Manager 3.1. 11.22, an incremental release of the Itanium version of HPUX. It was designated 11IV 1.6. This version achieved 64 way scalability, M, N threads, added more dynamic kernel tunable parameters, and supported HP's logical volume manager on Itanium. It was built from the 11IV 1 source code stream. 11.23 The original release of this version was in September 2003 to support the Itanium based systems. This version is also identified as 11iv2. In September 2004 the OS was updated to provide support for both Itanium and PA RISC systems. Besides running on Itanium systems, this release includes support for CCNUMA, web-based kernel and device configuration, IPv6 and a strong random number generator. 11.31, this release is also identified as HPUX 11iv3. This release supports both PA RISC and Itanium. It was released on February 15, 2007. Major new features include native multipathing support, a unified file cache, NFS v4, Veritas cluster FS, multi volume VXFS, and integrated virtualization. Hyperthreading is supported on Itanium systems with Montecito and Tukwila processors. HPUX 11 IV3 conforms to the Open Group's Unix 03 standard. Updates for 11 IV3 have been released every six months, with the latest being Update 14, released in March 2015. HP has moved to a cadence of one major HPUX operating system update per year. Equals 11 IV3 updates equals, Update 14, New features products a Euro Java 8.0.00 and 10 gig ETH R05. HP UX 11i operating environments, HP bundles HP UX 11i with programs in packages they call operating environments. The following lists the currently available HP UX 11i v3 OEs, HP UX 11i v3 base OE.
includes the full HP UX11i operating system plus file system and partitioning software and applications for web serving, system management and security. BOE includes all the software formerly in FOE and TCOE, plus software formerly sold standalone. HP UX11i v3 virtualization server OE, includes everything in BOE plus glance plus performance analysis and software mirroring, and all virtual server environment software which includes virtual partitions, virtual machines, workload management, capacity advisor and applications. VSEOE includes all the software formerly in EOE, plus additional virtualization software. HP UX 11 IV3 High Availability OE, includes everything in BOE plus HP Service Card clustering software for system failover and tools to manage clusters, as well as Glance Plus performance analysis and software mirroring applications. HP UX 11 IV3 Data Center OE, includes everything in one package combining the HP UX 11i operating system with virtualization. Everything in the HAOE and VSEOE is in the DCOE. Solutions for wide area disaster recovery in the compiler bundle are sold separately. HP UX 11i v2, HP dropped support for v2 in December 2010. Currently available HP UX 11i v2 OEs include, HP UX 11i v2 Foundation OE, designed for web servers, content servers and front-end servers, this OE includes applications such as HP UX Web Server Suite, Java, and Mozilla Application Suite. This OE is bundled as HP UX 11 IF OE. HP UX 11 IV2 Enterprise OE, designed for database application servers and logic servers, this OE contains the HP UX 11 IV2 Foundation OE bundles and additional applications such as Glance Plus Pack to enable an enterprise level server. This OE is bundled as HP UX 11 IE OE. HP UX 11 IV2 Mission Critical OE, designed for the large, powerful back end application servers and database servers that access customer files and handle transaction processing. This OE contains the Enterprise OE bundles plus applications such as MC Service Guard and Workload Manager to enable a mission-critical server. This OE is bundled as HP UX 11 IMC OE, HP UX 11 IV2 Minimal Technical OE, designed for workstations running HP UX 11 IV2, this OE includes the Mozilla Application Suite, Perl, VXVM, and Judy applications, plus the OpenGL Graphics Developers Kit. This OE is bundled as HP UX 11 IMT OE, HP UX 11 IV2 Technical Computing OE, designed for both compute intensive workstation and server applications. This OE contains the MTOE bundles plus extensive graphics applications, MPI, and math libraries. This OE is bundled as HP UX 11 ITC OE, HP UX 11 IV1, according to HP's roadmap was sold through December 2009, with continued support for V1 at least until December 2015. Equals see also equals, HP UX Process Resource Manager Software. References External links, HP Journal October 1985 Introducing the HP Integral and HP UX 1.0 Horsepower UX and HP Integrity Official Blog Mission Critical Musings, HP UX Guides Blog Hewlett Packard HP UX, the HP UX Porting and Archive Center, Porting Open Source Software to HP UX, HP UX FAQ, Securing HP UX, HP Inveritors to Accelerate HP UX 11i Virtualization, New HP UX 11i V3 Operating Environments, 11i V3 Update 2, a name that's practically poetry, HP UX Quick Notes and Guides. HP UX man pages and shell accounts provided by Polar Home